to all so for today's topic we shall look into topic eight last topic sustainable development efforts in malaysia so at the end of this topic you shall understand what does it mean by sustainable development efforts in malaysia in terms of challenges strategies and initiative and last but not least involvement of malaysian government in promoting sustainable development So Malaysia started its journey on the sustainable development since 1970 when the new economic policy was introduced in 1970 to eradicate poverty and restructure societal imbalance. So perjalanan dasar ekonomi baru ini mula diperkenalkan pada tahun 1970 oleh Tun Abdul Razak selepas tanah Melayu mencapai kemerdekaan. So kenapa Tun Abdul Razak uh, bangun, uh, memperkenalkan da- polisi dasar ekonomi baru ini ada dua sebab. Nombor satu adalah untuk membasmi kemiskinan dan nombor dua untuk pulihkan balik uh, restructure balik the society imbalance tu kerana zaman British menjajah tanah Melayu pentadbiran mereka mereka mel- uh, pet- Jenis pentadbiran yang mereka uh, praktikkan adalah dasar pecah dan perintah. Oleh yang demikian, aktiviti ekonomi telah dipecahkan mengikut kaum. So, all the subsequent five-year Malaysia development plans have underscored the elements of sustainable development such as uh, economic growth, equitable distribution, basic infrastructure and utilities, education, healthcare services and also environmental conservation. So, dalam ni, semua elemen-elemen uh, yang being outlined in the uh, sustainable development goals tu, 17 goal tu, ada dalam um, ada dalam dasar ekonomi baru ni lah. So, in 2009, Malaysia formulated the new economic model ataupun kita kata rancangan Malaysia khas which further cemented the Malaysia's commitment towards sustainable development that actually rely on the three pillars that that is uh, that are economic social and environment so the new economic uh, model provide basic for the five year malaysia development plan until 2020 so kalau you pernah dengar rmk 11 rmk 10 so itulah kita kata dengan new economic model so uh, new economic model ataupun rancangan malaysia khas ni telah di, diperkenalkan oleh datuk seri najib razak So the current 5 year Malaysia plan is the uh, 11 Malaysia plan ataupun kita kata rancangan Malaysia khas yang ke-11. So the theme of the rancangan Malaysia yang ke-11 is anchoring uh, anchoring growth on people which explain people will be the centerpiece of all development efforts and to make sure that no section of society is being left behind in participating and benefit from the nation's development. So kat sini kita katakan uh, Orang eh, uh, rakyat Malaysia itu inklusif. Semua orang dapat. Um, uh, boleh dikatakan macam uh, tema ini adalah uh, merujuk kepada uh, pemangkinan pertumbuhan uh, ekonomi dan rakyat itu sendiri akan terlibat dan uh, fokus untuk kemajuan rakyat lah which is no one is being left behind towards the development. So nak membangun tu sama-sama. So, di agenda 2030, so kita dah banyak kali dah kita tengok kan di agenda 2030 ni. So, di agenda 2030, increase the resolve to pursue the journey on sustainable development more aggressively. Thus, Malaysia has aligned with the 70 SDGs principle dalam rancangan Malaysia khas yang ke-11. So, the Honourable Prime Minister during that time, the uh, Datuk Seri Najib Razak, uh, has made his commitment during United Nations General Assembly in 2015. Uh, and Malaysia will adopt the Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development and its implementation. So, in order to embrace and also implementing the 17 Sustainable Development Goals in a systematic and also measurable manner. So, Malaysia has taken this follow initiative. Number one, uh, establish a multi-stakeholder participatory governance structure. Kita boleh katakan kat sini, um, Malaysian government localizing the Sustainable Development Goal at the sub-national level by replicating the national multi-stakeholder governance structure at state level. Maksudnya kat sini, bukanlah kerajaan pusat sahaja yang orang kata apa yang betul-betul nak and uh, and, 
apa tu Uh, yang betul-betul bukanlah kerajaan pusat sahaja yang terlibat malahan uh, state level ataupun state government dan juga local government juga turut terlibat. Number two, Health to National Sustainable, Devel- Sustainable Development Goal Symposium to promote the participation of stakeholder which can be explained as it mobilizing the resources and funding through partnership for example by doing crowdsourcing social entrepreneurship csr program and last but not least support and funding from the international resources and number three Conducted studies on data readiness and gap analysis Ataupun kita kata buat kajian Identify issue dan juga identify solution So by having a strong data readiness and uh, less uh, less data gaps So it will help to develop a comprehensive data set for sustainable development goal implementation Moving on number four Undertaken a mapping exercise that involved the non-government and also civil society uh, and also private sector to align with the SDG goals. Ini kita katakan dengan perlibatan semua pihak bukan sahaja pihak kerajaan malahan pihak uh, swasta, NGO dan juga komuniti lah rakyat untuk terus uh, orang kata apa untuk terus uh, menyokong ataupun mendukung sustainable development goal ni seperti yang telah di um, outline kan dalam agenda 2030 and last but not least um, Malaysia has established the national sustainable development goal roadmap to guide the implementation of this agenda 2030 So uh, Malaysia government ada buat satu roadmap lah kan Macam satu peta uh, sebagai panduan lah Bagi kerajaan Malaysia untuk ke, uh, Bagi Malaysia untuk ke arah agenda 2030 So moving on kita nak tengok What are the challenges of sustainable development in Malaysia Number one uh, Our challenge is because of lack of exposure on sustainable development So kurangnya pendedahan. So saya nak tanya you all kalau you all uh, tak study subjek ni, you all tahu tak tentang sustainable development goal. So number two, the implementation uh, challenges on orang kata apa on the attitude and also habits of the people. For example like penggunaan plastik, penggunaan straw. So habit ni susah untuk di diubah. Dia akan ambil masa yang lama. Number three, uh, our challenges is due to reckless consumption habit. So, orang kata apa, uh, pengguna, cara penggunaan yang sambil dia. For example, like water, electricity, macam water kan, macam you keep on apa, uh, switch on the running. So, membazir lah, macam sama juga macam electricity. Um, tak pakai uh, apa tu tak pakai bilik tu tapi lampu terpasang aircon terpasang so itu kita katakan dengan reckless consumption habit so malaysia could do more to abate the climate change and help the countries uh, in that uh, and help the countries that are writing environmental condition by being more prudent in using energy and also natural resources especially water So, number four, our challenges is shrinking forested areas to form water catchment. So, basically, ini uh, berkait rapat dengan pembinaan empangan. So, bila empangan, sebuah empangan dibangunkan, maka ia akan menjejaskan uh, habitat liar. Number five, uh, our challenges is river pollution by chemical and poorly treated waste water. So, ini contohnya macam uh, case Uh, kes kilang lah kan betul tak So kes kilang uh, For example like kes yang sungai Kim-kim tu uh, Kilang kan kilang melepaskan segala bahan-bahan uh, Kimia sisa, Sisa-sisa kimia ke dalam Longkang Number six, uh, our challenges is due to the declining numbers of endangered wildlife like the Malayan tiger. Number seven, uh, the challenges on the impact of climate change on the Malaysian economy since kita ni merupakan hutan hujan tropika. Jadinya, um, climate change tu um, makin lama makin berubah suhu jadi jadi lain-lain. And last but not least, sea level still continuing to rise. So, imagine eh, kalau uh, sekarang ni 
Oh sekarang ni kan kalau macam kita tengok macam negeri-negeri yang sentiasa uh, mengalami orang kata apa mengalami banjir tu itu baru banjir banjir kecil eh yang saya katakan banjir ni uh, macam banjir kalau ditenggelami oleh air laut sebab Uh, air laut ni kan susah Kau kata apa uh, Memang senang nak naik Tapi susah nak di dikurangkan Jadinya sekiranya perkara ini berlaku uh, Lama kelamaan Kita akan boleh jadi Orang kata apa Hilang daripada peta dunia Sebab kita dah kena Tenggelam dengan air laut So these are the strategies And also initiative Of sustainable development in Malaysia Number one, kita ada Malaysia Quality of Life Index. Number two, kita ada Malaysia Urban Quality of Life. Number three, kita ada Compendium of Environment Statistic. Number four, kita ada Malaysian Urban Indicator Network ataupun MURNI. Number five, we have Malaysia Sustainable Development Approach at State Level. And last but not least, we have Green Building Index. So, these are few, orang kata apa, uh, contohlah uh, involvement of Malaysia in the international sustainable development effort. So, number satu, Coral Triangle Initiative. Uh, so, the Coral Triangle Initiative on Coral Reef, Fisheries and also Food Security is a multilateral partnership of six countries working together to sustain the extraordinary marine and also coastal resources by uh, addressing the crucial issues such as food security, climate change and also marine biodiversity. So, this is a multilateral partnership between uh, uh, Malaysia government, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Solomon Island and Timor Leste. So, ini adalah enam negara lah yang terlibat uh, dengan CTI CFF. So this program is to seek uh, uh, this program is to address both poverty reduction through economic development, food security, sustainable land foods for coastal community, uh, penduduk-penduduk yang duduk di tepi uh, tepi-tepi pantai lah, tepi-tepi laut and biodiversity conservation through the protection of species, habitats and also ecosystems. So, uh, partners such as like Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, uh, Philippines, Timor Leste and then um, we have Australia um, and a part of uh, Worldwide Fund for Nature. So, uh, antara SDG goal yang terlibat adalah goal number 2, goal number 13 and also goal number 14. So, involvement Malaysia yang kedua pula uh, enhancing the South-South cooperation for capacity building in science towards economic resilience to the natural shocks in the Pacific and also Southeast Asia. So, Malaysia government and the United Nations, uh, UNESCO, has signed a memorandum of understanding uh, in 2011. So, the establishment of Malaysian Cooperative Trust Fund which will contribute to enhance the South-South cooperation for the capacity building in education and so science uh, that which is uh, will give the benefits to the developed uh, developed countries, small island states in Asia and also Pacific in order to support the agenda of UNESCO. So, this project will focus on losses and also damages in the agricultural and tourism sectors. So, untuk, uh, kata apa? Uh, untuk this uh, involvement ataupun kita kata this South-South cooperation, um, kita kata uh, Malaysia ni sangat, orang kata apa, sangat parti, uh, aktif lah, aktif terlibat dalam membaik pulih agriculture dan juga sektor tourism. Sebab uh, this, orang kata apa, this sector uh, can boost the economy. So, kat bawah tu macam partners tu, dia ada ramai partners eh. So, UNESCO, you ada UTM, you ada UNISA, USP and then ada SPC. So, these are, orang kata apa, these are the bodies and also organization, um, universities that provide all the expertise and also researchers, um, in the South South Cooperation.
So in conclusion, Malaysia can and should be ambitious with the goals and targets for the Sustainable Development Goal. Malaysia have demonstrated that we can set and achieve higher targets through sustained and systematic effort. So walaupun Malaysia ni merupakan sebuah negara yang masih membangun, sedang membangun developer countries, tapi kita kita boleh buat policy, kita boleh beri commitment yang se, yang sistematik. So, Malaysia has seen a place that the implementing mechanism for the Sustainable Development Goal with the Sustainable Development Initiative and the implementation will be relatively smooth. So, element-element Sustainable Development Goal telah, uh, for example, like element-element Sustainable Development Goals telah, orang kata apa, telah di outlinekan dalam rancangan Malaysia khas. Lastly, the National SDG Roadmap sets out the priorities and plan of action for implementation. Bukan sekadar pelan perancangan tetapi perlu ada pelaksanaan.